For most people, the idea of selling online as a work from home job never crosses their minds until something happens which triggers the possibilities that working from home or selling online for good money can be a reality. Hi friends and welcome to RK Treasure Center. My name is Roy. In this video, I'll give you a little peek into our life and show you how selling online has allowed my wife and I the ability to have a work from home job and get paid daily doing it. Now, before I share with you the aspect of our business, I just want to say that this month is a special month for us. This month on YouTube, we reached 30,000 subscribers. Thank you all very much from the bottom of our hearts. It's been a blessing and a journey, and we couldn't have done it without you. And more importantly, it's our anniversary month. Kim and I have been married for 30 wonderful years. So we thought since it was such a nice coincidence of having 30,000 subscribers and 30 years of marriage in the same month, we decide to have a giveaway. So three lucky people watching this video are gonna have a chance to win a gift card with a value of up to $100. I'll explain more about this during the video. Now let me share with you how we get paid daily selling online for good money. But before you go quit your job, let me explain how we ended up as a work from home couple selling online and whether or not this is something you should even consider. 15 years ago, I would have never considered working from home or selling online. At that time, my wife and I had regular jobs. We were the average working couple with four kids getting up every morning going through the usual routine of daily life. We would go to work, eat, go to sleep. Life became work, eat, sleep. Well, we also raised a family on a nominal base incomes. Everything was going well until life throws you a curve. You see, within a short period of time, my parents passed and Kim's parents started having health issues. They were needing a little more care. So we decided for Kim to stay home where she would have more time to help provide for her parents. However, this meant that we were losing part of that crucial income that we needed to pay our bills. I was considering getting a second job and my wife was considering a work from home job. This way she could work the hours that she wanted. But what kind of work from home job would supplement the part of the income we lacked with the hours we wanted? With bills coming in, it was seeming like we were needing to get paid daily. So during this time, I began to think back when I was a little boy and my dad would take us to the flea market. He would set up a table and sell random things for extra money. One thing he always did that stood out in my mind, whenever someone stopped by our table, my dad would always say, hello, friend. Well, anyway, after a little discussion, my wife and I decided we could sell some of the items in our house that we didn't need anymore at the local flea market. We did this for several months before realizing quickly that eventually we were going to run out of things to sell. Then one day at the flea market, I met an older gentleman who kind of reminded me of my dad. We did some talking and he explained that he didn't have a real job or a retirement. He said he supported himself and his wife by buying low priced items at the flea market, garage sales and thrift stores. Then he would take those items home, have a garage sale of his own and flip them for a profit. He did this every weekend without fail. So in essence, he had a work from home job. The old man and I never really talked much after that, but every weekend he would come by our table and with the biggest smile on his face, he would say, hi friend. Just a side note, just something I thought I would share. Since I started making YouTube videos about working from home and selling online, this is why I start my video introductions with hi friends. Anyway, back to the story. My wife and I continued to sell items on the weekends at the flea market for a couple of years, but it wasn't until one day when two things happened which gave me the spark I needed. The first thing that happened was at the end of the flea market day, I overheard a man, the old man, talking to another vendor that said he would buy everything on the table for $50. I was surprised when I heard the guy say yes. Just by looking at all the stuff on the table, I know I could have made $500 or more easily. The second thing that happened was when we got home that evening, while we were eating dinner, I began watching the news and I saw a reporter interviewing a person who had lost his job and couldn't find work. And that's pretty common in today's world. So to make ends meet, this guy started his own business by selling stuff on an online platform called eBay. <laughs> my mind was blown. And just like that, I realized I could combine what the old man was doing and what the guy on the TV was saying, and we could have our own part-time job working from home selling online. We would have never guessed that 10 years later, both Kim and I would be doing this full time. And in fact, five years ago, I decided to take an early retirement. And today my wife and I work full time at home. Well, we started part-time, but we work full-time at home on our own business, selling online. Now, let me show you how we get paid daily selling online for good money. 
Well, right now I'm sitting in front of one of my favorite consignment thrift shops to go to. Unfortunately, they usually play a lot of music, so I don't take the camera inside because otherwise you can't hear anything that I'm showing you and I don't want to get the copyright. But I did have a lot of items that sold today, so what I'm going to do is show you the items that sold back in my treasure center. And then while you're watching that, I'll be in the thrift shop. And then when I come out, if there's anything that I find, I'll show it to you when I get out and tell you what I paid for it and what I think it should sell on eBay. So if you're enjoying the video and the content so far, then go ahead and smash that like button because it really helps out the channel. And if you're new to the channel or haven't watched any of our videos before, well, welcome to RK Treasure Center, the hub of where everything happens. Everything from videotaping, wrapping and shipping, all of our shipping supplies, and all of our items that we sell in our home based business. This is our work at home job. And all the items that you see on the shelves, they're all up for sale. These are things that we sell on a daily basis and stuff that we pick up at garage sales, thrift shops, flea markets. This is our work from home job. And this is all the stuff that we sell online. So I figure the best way to show you is to show you the items that sold. So that way, you know, the kinds of things that we sell in our online business. So in a recent video, I showed you an item that sells and I told you guys, whenever you see them, pick them up because you always get at least $10 out of it every time you see them because they're really inexpensive. And this is the item right here. This is a power cord cable. And I tell you guys at the thrift shops, the garage sales, you will find these everywhere and you'll find them for cheap 25 cents to a dollar and they'll sell for ten dollars or more every single time this one sold for fourteen dollars and 99 cents now recently i did get a question i think it was after the last video when i did show a power cord it said how do you know that these power cords work most of the time when it comes to like thrift shops or things like that most of the time the power cords are just fine it's the main electronic component say like the tv the vcr the computer or something like that that's gone bad and thrift shops will separate those items and sell them separately in fact i have been selling these for over 10 years that i've been selling on ebay and i have never had a complaint or return so pick these up when you see them because they are worth the money next we're going to come into the j3 bin and i sold a metal sign these are some signs i picked up a while back and i guess it's this one right here yeah sold this one it says dad's workshop this was a really nice metal sign and this sold for $16.99. Sold one of these guys right here. This is an athletic green canister. It's bamboo top. It's, it's uh, porcelain. And you can see it's just hollow. It's got a really nice seal on it. This was one of those really nice thrift shop finds where I found two of these for $1.99 a piece. And this sold for $22. And inside here, should be right here in front, is this right here. Inside this bag is a Garmin Nuvi with stand. Normally I sell all these separate, but this one, since I had picked up so many different old GPS Garmins that I went ahead and decided to sell some of them together as sets. And that's what's inside this bag. And this sold for $24.99. I picked it up for $1.99 at the thrift shop. So I sold another item that many of you people seen me sell already, and that's a Furby. But I usually keep my new Furbies inside the treasure center inside the house but out here i keep the furbies that weren't in a box so right in here in our two bin is the little tiger furby and you can see it looks like actually it's a draft furby he's got the draft print this one sold for 38 dollars so kim's been working on some shirts and she's got two tubs of shirts put together i hadn't even got them up on the shelf but i did sell one item out of one of these tubs so i have to find it real quick and then i'll show it to you so i found it and this is it right here this is a 5x nurses scrub and that's just a shirt top this right here has disney mickey mouse all over it this sold for 14 dollars 99 cents plus shipping pick this up at a thrift shop for a dollar 99 what are you doing honey well i have some bad news what's that evidently our shirts are having babies in your ebay garage the shirts are having babies every time i think i'm done i bring you, you more shirts you bring me another bag of shirts and i'm like i cleaned up everything i put it all away i was so excited to post something other than shirts and and now i give you more shirts yeah but i think that's all the shirts though are you sure that's what evidently I, there's been <laughs> litters being I, born i might come across another shirt or two or three 
Yeah. So you got some good shirts. It's a nice shirt. A yeah. Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Look at this. Is a Sturgis. Sturgis. Oh yeah. That's so a... I kind of pre-wash them and oh. then a very light dry and then hang them up so they're not as wrinkled. A foot, a foot joy shirt. Them. There's another Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. That's pretty good. Who's this one? Hilo Hattie. Yeah, that's good. You know how um, I was using the steamer. Yep. A bust. It takes too long. So what I'm doing is I do a quick wash and um, put them in the dryer for just a very short time. And you got that camera awful close. I know. That's because it's a small area. <laughs> this is our bathroom. <laughs> so this is my now my part of the staging area. We're in our bathroom. Yeah. But y'all never thought you'd catch us in the bathroom. <laughs> watch us in our bathroom. But that's all you're going to watch in our bathroom is this. I'm just saying. These shirts don't need to be birthing no more babies. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. All right. Is this it? You think? It. Uh, I hope so. I don't trust. I don't. I don't know. This is like the second time. Oh, I'm done. And then you bring another bag. Drag another bag. All right. In, so. Well, I'll try not to bring any more. Well, if they're there, they're there. But. All right. Okay. Okay, well, we're out of here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, way back when, when I first started selling on eBay, I made a mistake and bought a whole bunch of TY Beanie Babies. Well, you can easily sell them, but not for good money. There are very rare ones out there, and a ton of people are selling these on eBay, and they're trying to sell them with errors and just say that they're unique and rare and all kinds of things like that. I recommend don't sell ty beanie babies unless that's the only item you're going to be selling in your store and your store is going to have that niche and be known for selling ty beanie babies way back in the day they were popular today's world they're not and most of the time people sell these in lots of 20 and 30 for like 30 dollars anyway don't sell ty beanie babies but like i said this one sold for nine dollars and 99 cents so i'm happy and i got rid of them i think he might be my last one and in this bin, I sold this item right back here. This is a little handmade jewelry box. It's like a little treasure chest. It's pretty nice. Got a little top compartment. It's got a little drawer that pulls out. And of course it is used, but it's still pretty nice. I had an offer from a person at the UK who said, sent me a message and said that they were interested in buying it and wondering if I had a problem mailing or sending to the uk and i don't they purchased this item they paid 18 dollars for it plus they paid the shipping to go to kentucky and to the uk so they have about 40 dollars all in on this item right here so a while back i was at a thrift shop and thought i found a really super deal well i did find a good deal what i found was this right here it's an acoustic research speaker and when i found it I never saw one before. I just saw Acoustic Research. It's right there, printed on there. You can see it. Well, Acoustic Research has really well-made speakers, and they sell for really good money. Well, what I didn't realize was this Acoustic Research speaker, it's an indoor-outdoor speaker, actually comes with a wireless base module. Well, they didn't have the wireless base module, or I missed it and didn't pick it up. Well, after I got home and started doing some more research on it, I realized that this was missing that modular base. But I looked, and they were still selling these without a problem. These will connect to any modular base. So I went ahead and listed it, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. But had it had the modular base with it, I probably could have gotten $50 to $75 for it. All right, so we're going to come in here to the media bin. And I sold this item right back here. This is called the Movies. It's a premiere edition. This is made by Activision. It's a PC DVD ROM game. And it's really nice, complete. It's got a whole bunch of different things. I guess you make up your own scenes. And it's like the ultimate, become the ultimate Hollywood player. This right here was a really good little find at a garage sale. I paid a dollar for it. And this sold for $15 plus shipping. So I've been walking around showing you different items that sold. Well, I'm about to show you something that's not something I sold, but it's actually something I bought. I bought it for my wife, Kim, for our anniversary, and she really likes turquoise. So what I got her was this turquoise heart right there. You think she'll like it? Well, anyway, the reason I showed you that was because in today's video to win the giveaway, you have to know a clue word and the word is heart. So a lot of people just like to randomly run through videos to try to enter a giveaway. Well, I'm doing this so that that way it looks like I'm showing you something. So that way anybody running through the video doesn't see it. 
and I want this to be as fair as possible. So in today's video, at the end of the video, make sure you follow all the rules. But one thing you have to do in your comments is put the word heart. And it does have to be spelled correctly because we're going to filter out all the duplicate users. So you can only put it in your comments one time. And we're also going to filter out how it's spelled. So H-E-A-R-T, heart. Okay, sold an item out of the N2 bin. And this is it right here. This is a vintage Railvac VHSC cassette adapter. Anybody that had an old camcorder would need one of these to play their little VHS beta tapes in a regular VCR. I did replace the battery and put in a new battery with this. And this sold for $24.99. Picked this up at a garage sale and paid 50 cents for it. And out of the picker bin or the W1 bin, this sold. This is a weather band radio. It's AM, FM, and picks up TV stations as well. This is a vintage radio, and it comes with earbuds. This sold for $24 plus shipping. Picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. And I sold this back here. Let me be a little careful with it. This is a Santa Claus porcelain head doll. Let's see if I can get it to where you see it. There you go. This sold for $22 plus shipping. So the next item I sold is in the M1 bin. And before I get that out, I just want to say that this item sold through the Global Shipping Program on eBay. And if you're not selling internationally, you don't sell your items through the Global Shipping Program or just sell your items internationally, whether it's on eBay or any other platform, you're missing out on a bunch of money. Let me get this item and we'll talk about it and I'll show you what it is. And it is going to be in this little bin. So it's a little item and this is it right here. This is a four inch wooden hand carved toucan or toucan. This little bird I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. It's a little hand carved wooden bird with beaded eyes. This little guy right here sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Plus it's going through the eBay global shipping program. So the buyer has over $40 all in on this little guy right here. Now I'm getting my money out of it and he's going to get or she's going to get a ter terrific toucan hand carved bird because they really wanted it and like i said it's probably more of a want than a need but people overseas are looking everywhere there are potential buyers all throughout the world that are willing to buy your items and if you're not selling internationally you're missing out on some good money so consider making sure that you sell your items internationally don't worry about it unless it's a great big heavy item with a lot of shipping small items things like that are great to sell internationally i have every single one of my listings being able to be sold through the global shipping program so anybody overseas can buy any of my items and i'm glad they do so it's not uncommon to be out here filming a video talking about things that sold and hear my phone say cha-ching and know that something just sold well this next item is inside the house so i need to go grab that item and i will go get it and tell you what that item is and what it sold for all right, so the item that just sold that I went in the house for was my last 7-Eleven exclusive Funko Pop. I've sold all of them out now. These were all retail arbitrage items that I picked up at 7-Eleven. I spent $70, bought like 14 of them. They have all sold now, and I think my total that I made on all these has been about $350 plus shipping. And this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping, and that's what I had on a price on all these was $24.99 plus shipping. In fact, a majority of these have been going out through the International Global Shipping Program on eBay. I probably sent at least six out of the 14 that I sold internationally. All right, so up there in that bin up there is a bunch of Christmas ornaments, and I sold some, so I need to get these down and check it out. And it should be number 202. So this is a vintage box of Christmas ornaments. And actually they came from Kmart way back in the day. And they are bright and shiny Christmas ornaments. And as you can see, it has the original price tag of 78 cents on it. And these were actually purchased for about 25 cents a box at a garage sale. And I picked up a bunch of boxes. Well, these vintage Christmas ornaments will sell for good money. These sold for $18. And they're actually going to be really easy to wrap up. All you have to do is put them inside a, a cardboard box or wrap cardboard around it, pad that, and then put it in another box, and they'll mail out for a really light weight because these things right now probably don't weigh two, uh, two, three ounces even inside that box. 
and this is my C2 bin, and I sold this right here. This is a Travel Yahtzee Deluxe. It has everything in there. It has the dice, the cup, and it has a little board naturally built into it. Plus, it has a pad and the original Yahtzee pencil. I picked this up at a church rummage sale. I paid a dollar for it. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. If you see these Yahtzee Deluxes, pick them up. These will always, always sell. I looked at the comps. These always sell for $35 or higher. Sold a Wrangler shirt that Kim just got listing not long ago. This sold for $20 plus shipping. Well, one thing that I like selling are cookie pastry presses. And when the last cookie pastry press I found had two sets of discs in it. So this is a set of 14 discs. I sold them separately and they sold for $10. So inside this bag is a headrest for electric scooter. This sold for $23 plus shipping. So parts and pieces of electric scooters, wheelchairs, things like that will sell and make good money. So I came across a couple of packages of brand new refrigerator water filters. They were marked 50 cents, brand new, never open. This one sold for $19.99. Coming down here to the H2 bin down here on the bottom. And I sold two more of these. Now I haven't sold these for quite a while. These are the Amdro Mosquito Killed, their little disc you put in water, and it says it's got one year control. I bought these retail arbitrage. Many of you have seen these over and over, but I haven't sold them for a little while. But these two sold for $14.99, and I picked these up for 50 cents a piece on retail arbitrage. All right, sold a Bible out of the B1 bin. This is a Life Principles Bible by Charles Stanley. Really good condition. This is another one of those things you can pick up really cheap at your thrift shop or garage sales for inexpensive. I think I paid less than a dollar for it. I may have paid 50 cents for it. This sold for $10.80 plus shipping. All right, I believe this is the last item that sold today. This is an Adidas Barricade tennis racket holder. It's got the shoulder straps, it's got a carrying handle. And this will hold two or three tennis rackets plus all the other equipment. It's a really nice one, and I only paid a few dollars for it at, I believe, a Salvation Army. And this right here sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, so I came back out of that store, and I did find two items. The first item I found uh, was this Double Twelves Domino. It's a brand new set, paid a dollar for it. It could probably sell for about $15 plus shipping because it's in a nice tin and it's a unique set that people do desire and look for when they're playing double twelves. But I may keep this one for myself. I played it one time and enjoyed the game, so I might just keep that for myself. I'm not sure. I might sell it. But I did come away with a nice, really cute item. This is a Christopher Radko pitcher. It's called Lion and Lamb, and it's a... MD Anderson Cancer Center. This one was designed by a patient by the name of Sharuk. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I will pull it out. I already pulled the styrofoam off the top so you can see it. But this is a super, super cool picture. I mean, it is really, really nice. And it's got super 3D design to it. I couldn't find anything like this on eBay, but I did see these on Worth Point, so I'll have to look it up when I get home to be sure, but I'm thinking this is gonna sell for about $50 or higher. So a really nice find. All right, so the eligibility rules or guidelines to win one of the gift cards that we shown earlier in the video is real simple. All you have to do, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that like button while you're at it. Next, this is very important. During the video, I gave you a clue. And if you didn't watch the video through its entirety, you might have missed that clue. So you might have to go back and rewatch the video or at least look for that clue. But for everybody that did watch the video and you caught that clue, go ahead and put that clue in your comments because that's what we're going to use to draw the winners of the gift cards. And the final guideline to be eligible for this giveaway is that by October 31st at 11.59 p.m. or about midnight, that's the last time we're going to take any of the comments or eligible comments. Now, on November 1st at 7 p.m., we're going to release an Arcade Treasure Center video. And during that video, we're going to announce the winners. So make sure you mark your calendars and watch for November 1st. 2021 at 7 p.m. Now, if you're watching this video after November 1st, 2021, you're not eligible to enter this giveaway and any comments you leave are just comments. Now we're gonna give one week 
for all the eligible winners to claim their prize. If they don't claim the prize in a week, we might do another giveaway. Well, that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. So if you enjoyed it a lot, go ahead and click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, be sure to leave a comment and tell me what you liked about this video and the kinds of things that you'd like to see. Everyone out there, take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Bye-bye.